GCSAA TV presents Par 5, 5 Tips to Make Maintenance Practices More Efficient. Former golf course superintendent Brian Beckner started Native Bird Boxes Incorporated in 2013. The company builds and installs bird boxes and establishes birding trails on golf courses and other venues. Brian has established wood duck boxes on a number of properties. If you would like to attract wood ducks, here's five tips to help you get started. In regards to uh, attracting wood ducks, or hooded mergansers in fact, to your location, one of the things you want to pay attention to is knowing and being able to identify that specific duck. Because not all ducks are cavity nesters. A wood duck and a hooded, mer hooded merganser are cavity nesters. In this particular situation, you'll see a box that's been established for wood ducks. In this particular scenario here is a very small, isolated pond in which they like that isolation. They are a very private type of a bird. You're not going to always find them out in the middle of an open lake, but you will find them in a private little lake like this that has trees surrounding it. Uh, so they have the privacy and a place to be able to go to as soon as they fly out of the box for their safety. The second thing would be the style of box to select for wood ducks. In this particular situation is a much larger box as you will see. It's roughly about 29 inches tall. The cavity size uh, and depth is roughly a 12 by 12 plate. In addition to the entrance hole on it, instead of it being perfectly round because the ducks have to get their shoulders through, it is a three by four entrance hole. The third thing would be where to hang the box. Our success has shown us that whenever you hang the box on a pole mounted out into the lake, you have a better opportunity to be able to get that species specific bird, in this case, the wood duck, into that box. What we try to do is reduce our predator activity by bringing the box and the pole out in the lake about six to 10 feet and being able to mount that large pole and the box to it. One thing you wanna pay close attention to is your high water level mark. You may come out here in the winter time and the lake is at the established level that it is right now. But in summertime, after drainage has occurred from any sort of a summer storm or rain event, you may have a two or three foot fluctuation. So you want to make sure that the box is gonna be higher than what the highest level of that water would be in that lake. Fourth thing we wanna talk about is the ventilation of the boxes. All birdhouses need to have some type of ventilation. On our particular boxes that we make, we, use, we leave ourselves a half inch gap all across the back ridges in the box, so that way the box has the opportunity to breathe as well as on the bottom plate where they would be doing their nesting, all edges and quarter angles are all cut off, so that way we have ventilation come from underneath, entrance hole, and the top sides. Fifth thing would be maintaining the box to make sure that you know the cycle of uh, nesting that is occurring. Know that whenever the wood duck species would be here in your region, be able to identify if they're using the box by being able to tell if the bird is going in and out by looking at the lower quarter section of the entrance hole, you will be able to see some of their tail feathers dragging in and out and the color change will happen there. But at the same time, you're able to open the entrance door to be able to see if they are actually nesting in it and creating any sort of a nest uh, by grabbing any sort of uh, pine uh, needles and also the preening from their chest. Attracting wood ducks to your property can add enjoyment to a round of golf or any other outdoor experience. To help you get started, here are those tips once again. First, know and be able to identify the specific duck you are trying to attract. Second, select the correct size and style of box for wood ducks. Roughly 29 inches tall with a 12 by 12 cavity size and 3 inch by 4 inch entrance hole. Third, hang the box in the correct location on a pole that's higher than the highest watermark and about 6 to 10 feet out into the lake. Fourth, make sure the box is ventilated properly. And last, maintain the box so you know what cycle of the nesting process is occurring.